I was popping. It's your boy, Big Rich. Mob Stories shattered. Bueno, Sarah. Good evening. How the fuck are you? Okay, long day at work, but you know what I'm saying? I'm about my money. See, if money is time and time is money, then I just got enough time to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Let's get down to business. The lights go out in Chi-Town. Outfit soldier Chucky Russell succumbs to cancer. Believe me, the government has a cure of cancer. Trust me. I know these things. Russell's brother-in-law is Grand Avenue crew capo and alleged outfit street boss Albert Albie the Falcon Venna. During his prime, Russell was one of Chicago's most prolific thieves, a feared debt collector, and a reputed hitman. FBI and Chicago Crime Commission documents have listed Russell as a member of the outfit's Grand Avenue regime dating back to the 1970s. In December of 2016, Russell was arrested by an undercover ATF agent when he showed up at a downtown Chicago deli in the South Loop to purchase eight weapons, including a submachine gun and an AK-47 assault rifle. The agent had infiltrated Russell's inner circle in the months before the bus and recorded the convicted murderer and sex offender bragging of killing a man, which is still ongoing, the probe, pulling off 2,000 burglaries throughout his career in the mob and his intention of using a blowtorch to get a future robbery victim to open up his safe. Nothing gets my juices flowing like putting a gun to someone's head, taking their stuff and making it mine. He bragged to the undercover agent at a Wicker Park restaurant in Tavern in late 2016. Minkia. Last year, the sadistic Russell pled guilty to a single firearm offense. He, he was granted a bond to await trial at his girlfriend's suburban Chicago home because of his battle with late-stage prostate cancer. He had been locked up for 24 months. Back in spring, Russell entered a hospice program. Russell's longtime girlfriend is a niece of famed Chicago mobster Tony the Ant Spilotro, the outfit's representative in Las Vegas during the 70s and first half of the 80s. Albi Vena is married to her sister. Spilotro and his young brother Mike were heinously slain in June of 1986, strangled, beaten, and stomped to death in a Benson neighborhood. The Spilotro brothers were part of the Grand Avenue Q. Russell was convicted of a murder in 1973 and served 20 years in prison for a gruesome sexual assault. Thank you. What are you doing here? In 1992, he raped a woman and threw her out of a second story window. Jesus! He was paroled from his rape case in 2011 and is suspected of committing hundreds of burglaries and shakedown in his final years. Venna, called the most dangerous man in the Chicago underworld, has been the focus of a federal racketeering and murder probe for the last six years. Hey. Jesus. I'm all good at everything, but the raping of a woman, no, I don't, I don't condone that. I don't agree to that. It's who I am. So if that's true, hey, calm as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So salute, salute to uh, Shattered. Obviously, Charles Chucky, the electrician, Russell was not one to mess with. All right? Stay tuned for some more mob stories. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Throw a donation our way. It won't hurt. Salute.